Welcome to Jesus Manuel Menagarza Photography, Video, and Audio. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Today I'm going to make a three, four, five minute speech on photography and the continuum. What is a photographer out there? What type of photographer are you? Let's start at uh, amateur photographers. Amateur photographers essentially uh, do it for fun. They take pictures of the family. They take pictures of friends. They take pictures of uh, where they're traveling to and share it with uh, their, again, uh, known associates. Okay. <laughs> so people, you know, they post it on Facebook and, uh, you know, all these other social media platforms. And people enjoy them. And some of them are very good and some are not so good, but they post them and they're very happy with them. And they're very happy with the process of capturing that photograph because capturing a photograph is a lot of fun. You focus on something, you analyze it, then you take a picture. In most cases, some people just snap, 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 but others actually try to make an effort, amateurs, uh, to make a good photograph, at least uh, attempting to uh, aspire. Uh, towards uh, being a professional, okay? Then you have on the other end of the continuum the uh, uber professional exhibiting photographer. There are some photographers out there uh, from Germany, Japan, the United States, around the world uh, who make millions per photograph. I'm not exaggerating. They make a print, they sell it to a gallery, they sell it to a museum, and they're making millions of dollars per print. They may have an edition of 10 of them and each one sells for several million dollars. That's good money. Even to you and me, it's very good money. But who decides that they're actually uh, worth millions and millions and millions, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars? It's essentially the curator, the gallery, and people have recognized that photographer and said, hey, that's an interesting photograph. I think it's worth collecting. And if certain people collect a certain work or write about a certain work, that piece, that artwork becomes super, super, super valuable and collectible. And that artist, once it becomes collectible, everybody wants to know what the next print or series of that photographer is going to produce. And they say, okay, I'll buy one of those, put it in my collection. Uh, maybe it's in the vault or maybe it's in actually a museum or, and they will be very happy saying, hey, that's uh, that photographer, this last print, so for five million, I'm hoping mine that I bought for, you know, five million goes up, you know, to 10 million in a couple years and I'll be making some serious cash. So how does a person get to that level? Again, how does a person get to that level? First of all, you have to be a good photographer, not necessarily a great photographer, but you have to be a good photographer and you have to be published. Published means that uh, a lot of academics out there, my wife's one of them, an academic who writes about photographers. Once you get a little bit of publicity, promotion, and people say, that's an interesting piece, and they evaluate it, they write about it for a magazine, for a newspaper article, uh, if there's still newspapers out there, <laughs> uh, for, uh, you know, a uh, academic publication, or for, uh, you know, a book. Then people go, hey, that person's been written about. That person has bona fides. I hope I said that right. And that person's work gains uh, value and importance in the general artistic community. My wife, who's an art historian, writes about quite a few photographers. And uh, museums are very happy. Say, can, can you come talk about that artist that we have on exhibit that we're trying to sell? You'd be more, they'll be more than happy. My wife's been invited to museums and galleries and say, hey, yes, talk about that artist because it increases the value, somebody talking about it, somebody writing about it. And my wife has written several books, you know, publications, books, etc., cetera, uh, on the subject of different artists and is always asked, can you write about this artist? Can you talk about that artist? Can you talk about that artist? And the artists are very happy to talk to my wife or anybody who's an academic in the art sphere who's going to promote their work. So you got the amateur photographer. Nobody's talking about your work other than your family and friends and your community out there on YouTube or uh, Facebook, uh, et cetera, et cetera, all those uh, social networks. But then the people that are talking about the Uber photographer are people from museums, curators, 
people with billions of dollars that invest in art, and of course, academics. And once an academic starts promoting your work, yeah, it's good for you. It's, it makes you money, M-O-N-E-Y. So this has been a Sus Manuel Menegarza. Some of us are just having a good time taking photographs. Others have uh, gained, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, bona fides uh, are being talked about by gallery directors, people with billions of bucks, millions of bucks, and of course, academics like my wife and her ilk, okay? My wife in a couple weeks is going to Chicago to talk to the College Art Association. It's going to be in a presenting on a specific artist in a book that she's uh, just recently published. She was asked to uh, go to the gallery in you know, different parts of, of the United States and talk about this artist. Of course they do. Of course they want my wife to talk about this artist because they make money on it. They make a lot of money. You know, anything that sort of you know, pumps up that artist, they love it. So if you are a photographer, if you are an artist, you know, and you want to get recognition, try to get somebody to write about you. Get somebody that you know to write about you because it'll increase your, uh, you know, your uh, standing in the arts community. Again, I've seen photographs that I say, hey, <laughs> this isn't impressive, but people collect that artist. You know, that's how the world works, okay? So it's not through our eyes, it's through the eyes of the billionaires, the curators, the, the directors of these galleries and museums, and of course, art historians around the United States and around the world. Hope you're doing fantastic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And check out my uh, photographs. Yes, I've exhibited at museums, galleries, and even for the Smithsonian, and I've lectured at major universities. So I have a little bit of experience dealing with photographers and artists in the United States of America. Hope you're doing fantastic. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and leave your kind and friendly comments uh, below, and check out my website. Details are right here below. Thanks for checking out my channel. Hope you are gonna enjoy your day. Hope you're going out there taking photographs, uh, you know, just for fun. I enjoy the process of taking a photograph. You know, there are certain photographs that you take that gain value. Uh, I mean, this is a little bit of a tangent. I apologize, this is a bit of a tangent. Some of us gain entree to a specific community and those photographs because you gained entree and nobody else thought about gaining entree and didn't think it was valuable. Those photographs become important. That happened to me back in the early 70s. If you become a part of a group, you know, you know, certain community and you cover it and nobody else is and you actually take a decent photograph, you know about f-stops, <laughs> you know, apertures and uh, shutter speeds and ASA and know about uh, processing a good photograph back in the day or, you know, using digital media, you can be a successful person by focusing on that community and being the only person, one of the few persons that actually focused on that community and can produce an exhibit. So you can produce an exhibit on that subject. That's a bit of advice for you folks out there. This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza at home in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing super fantastic wherever you're at. Go out there and take some photographs. Go out there and take some video. Produce some uh, audio, music, whatever. Have a great day. From Fort Worth, Texas, gracias. Adios. And don't forget to ring the bell for future notificaciones. Bye-bye.